In this video, I will show you what is the build trigger and what's the difference of them, which build triggers there are and which of them we can use. And do not forget to subscribe on my channel to not miss any new videos. Uh, right now we are on Jenkin job and here we have two of our jobs we created in the previous video and uh, everything what we can do right now it's run it manually by clicking the button. Okay, what is a trigger? A trigger is some kind of event or we can call it a rule which uh, we need to follow uh, to run our task, these jobs. For example, uh, what uh, are the most popular types of events? Build triggers. There are a few different types of these triggers. The first one is on-demand run. We already use it when we click the task manually to run some task. Another one is when, when other job is finished. For example, when the first task was finished, we can run the second one. If the first one was finished successfully or if the first one was finished with the error, we can run another task. The third one is a cron schedule. So we will talk about it later in the next video, but uh, sometimes we want to run uh, our task in, on some time, for example, uh, every day at uh, 3 p.m. or somewhere on the evening, in, on nightly. And uh, the last one is uh, source control management. It's uh, when something is happening in our source, uh, source control system, for example, in Git or Subversion, when we push the new commit, we can run a uh, some new task to build our application from scratch. So let's create uh, our first uh, trigger for a second job. Let's open it and uh, configure. Here in build triggers, we can see that uh, there are a lot of checkbox for different uh, options. So let's check, check this one. It's um, build after other project are built. And other project is our hello world. We created it previously and uh, it uh, asked to, we can add a couple of these uh, projects in the line separated by comma. But uh, as we have just one, we just remove this comma and space and uh, that's it. And uh, here there are a few options. As I mentioned, we can trigger it only if a build is stable, if a build is unstable and uh, even if the build fails. In our case, we will trigger it when build was stable. Let's click save, return to our Jenkins and uh, when we will run the first one, here we can see in the queue is the second job, reload our page. We reloaded it and we see that we have new run, Last, let's open it and uh, here we can see that up upstream project, it's a project which runs this, it was hello world and some additional information about uh, steps. So if we will open our configure. In build triggers, we can see that we have a few different options. We can, in the same time, we can run it uh, by um, another project or run periodically. We will cover this topic in the next video, how to configure cron. And we, here we can see that we have GitHub hook triggers, all uh, pull from a source, source control management system. And that's it.